I like to feel like I'm a, a real life superhero, you know, yeah. humbly speaking. <laughs> All right, you ready? Of course I'm not ready. Oh, oh, oh. I can't do this yet. Everybody knows that the best way to learn is under intense life threatening pressure. Oh. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I mean, the Spider-Verse is, is the multiverse, you know? Basically, you know, if you've ever thought to yourself, you know, what would it be like if there were versions of me in other, you know, universes, that's kind of what we're saying. We're saying there's a whole multiverse of alternate realities, and each one has a Spider-Man in it, who sometimes saves the day and maybe sometimes doesn't, but each alternate universe has its own Spider-Man. They're all different, and we get to meet a bunch of them uh, in this movie. Listen up. This fry is your universe. It's soggy, it's weird, it's gross. And this delicious normal fry is my universe. We could not have made this movie without all those previous movies, uh, you know, and also the comics. And, and um, I think that was the fun part about this movie. One of the one of the creative hooks that we had was this idea that like there's a there's a broad awareness of of the mythology of Spider-Man. And, and the idea in our movie is that Miles Morales, who ends up becoming uh, a new Spider-Man, lives in a world where Spider-Man actually exists. So he's seen, you know, he's seen Spider-Man movies and he's seen Spider-Man books and Spider-Man is like a big celebrity. So the idea that uh, there's other versions of, of this character or that it's, that that character is known to us. It's, Miles is just like us in that way. We've seen Spider-Man movies and Spider-Man cartoons and Spider-Man comic books all our lives. So we wanted to kind of draw you into Miles' way of seeing the world and you kind of realize, oh, he's just like me because I've been watching these movies all my life. He could see some of the same things with these parallel versions of Peter um, that we've seen on the big screen um, and we can use them, you know, both for, um, you know, meaningful moments in the story, but also 100% for the comedic moments. <laughs> My name is Peter Parker. I'm pretty sure you know the rest. I saved the city, fell in love, then I saved the city again, and again, and again. Look, I'm a comic book, a serial, I did a Christmas album, and a so-so popsicle. But this isn't about me. Not anymore. And we see, we see the Spider-Man story basically as like a myth that, yeah. you know, that has traveled the whole world and that has resonated with, you know, billions of people, you know, many millions of people, and, you know, our movie is kind of about that, and it's about, you know, you know when there's a myth that travels around the world, the story can change. So we're mm -hmm. kind of showing you a few different versions of that story, and we're honoring the versions that came before us. But besides your own movie, what the Spider-Man movie is your favorite? Hmm. Boy. Mm. I would say, uh, uh, sure. Okay, so right now, this movie, uh, if I back up a bit, boom, 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 I would go to uh, Sam Raimi's second one. That's a tough one. I mean, the the, the Sam Raimi uh, 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 Spider-Man Two, especially. I mean, that's a great movie. That's yeah. a really good movie. It is really good. You said besides this movie. Yes. But obviously, still this movie. <laughs> um, but if I'm choosing a different Spider-Man movie, I would have to say maybe the first one. Yeah. You know, the first time that I saw Spider-Man when he was in that the the hallway, and then the dude tried to punch him, and he's like. Shh. <laughs> that moment. It was a big moment for me. That movie was a big movie. <laughs> That's like asking me to pick my favorite, you know, child, you know, that I have. And my favorite child is Leela, but, you know, the... Uh, no, no, I mean, <laughs> Poor Dylan. No, I'm kidding. My favorite <laughs> child is Leo and Dylan Tide. Uh, uh, no, um, yeah, they're also good. Uh, yeah, they, they are. Yeah. I mean, seriously, the, the new Tom Holland. Tom Holland is so great as Spider-Man. It, it is kind of an impossible choice. Yeah, so. I love the new. I, I do love the new one. I will say that as a you know you know since I was young when the Sam Raimi movies came out, you yeah. know that that to me is always the the bar you have to top. Hey guys, who are you? I'm Gwen Stacy. I'm from another, another dimension. How many more spider people are there? Hey, fellas. Hello. This could literally not get any weirder. It can get weirder. 